Hey guys, we're doing a giveaway. So I have my model right here. We're giving away shirts, these nice breathable shirts right here. And UV, UV. <laughs> UV shirts. We're giving them away because we reached over 100 subscribers and this is our token of appreciation. We're giving away two to two lucky subscribers. So all you gotta do to enter is just like and subscribe. You forgot. 2002 45 foot express cabo. We're removing the old Glendening MBS control system and we're updating it to the new modern Smart Actuator 1 Witch Roll. So we have here all the new tech all the new Glendening tech that we're gonna be replacing the old system with. So not only do we have to replace the main helm and what's inside the engine room, but we have to go up there and replace the control head as well. So yeah, this is gonna be a, a pretty big job, but we'll get it done. All right, for this job, we're gonna be having to rip out the old Glendening system. As you can see, like we're gonna have to replace the handles in here and the touchpad at the main helm and then we have to go into the engine room. So we're in the engine room right now, and that is one of the actuators that we have to replace, and this one. And we got the trolling actuator that we have to replace as well. So if you look at the entire engine room, everything's kind of small and tight, but we gotta, we gotta replace that, and we gotta get rid of that processor. So what was once a processor there, mounted on this wall, is now on my lap. I was able to get it off. My job right now is to remove everything inside the engine control because my dad does not want to get dirty. Um, but yeah, so now onto actuators. And then I have to get to that little one all the way in the back, the troll one. So I just got to say that this one was an absolute pain in the ass. Having to get it off of this wall. I didn't realize that we had to actually take away the this portion with the air filter and go behind it, I couldn't fit. So I had to have my dad come in here and he had to like scoot in there and then hold it while I unscrewed the actual actuator. But pulling these freaking cables through this little channel, we have to go down here and it, they all exit out of here. So we just, yeah, it was a pain in the ass. And this is just for one side. I can't even imagine when we start that side. All right, well, we're in this hole on the port side and uh, we got um, Mr. Olympia with his broad shoulders trying to get into a little tiny hole. Let me see, Julie, look, S smile and wave. No. Smile, no. look, no. look. I guess he's a little uh, pissed because he's stuck. Are you stuck, Julie? He doesn't even want to look. He's like upset, like a little angry dog. Look at me. Come here. Come on. Look at me. Look at me. 75 years later. I'm going to be working on these side mount control handles. I need to remove them so I can put the new control heads on. But in order for me to take these handles off, I'm going to have to drill the set screws out because they're frozen. As you can see, this is a slow, tedious process. I was able to drill that out and you can actually see inside there that I've actually drilled the shaft. I had to go farther into it in order for me to release this control head, but it's coming out. Well, we got the port side out. I've already drilled out the starboard side and we got the handle out. You can see I had to drill that out. You can start seeing my drill portion there. So, and all the metal shavings down there. Not easy getting these things out. It appears that in the process of dismantling this cabo that they built the boat around the actual control system. So right there is the side mount control heads. Uh, that little gold piece is one and then there's another. And there's my father, yeah. all sweaty. Ugh. And then, but there's no way to get it out. They literally built it around. So now we're gonna have to try to figure out a way to get 
those out so we can put the new ones in. There's no way, right? Right now, the way it's not going to come out the way that it would in. Yeah. Well, as you know, the control heads are there. We got one there and we got one there. Now, there's no way that it's going to be able to come out through this particular hole here. We have no way to get that out there. So, uh, let me show you what we had to do. We actually had to remove the front bezel of this unit. So now, we can have access to our control heads. Now we're going to be removing and replacing them. Well, you can see that I got the bezels out. Pull the port and starter side. You can see a little bit of the shaft on that side, but this one already managed to work itself inside. We have both of them sitting there, so hopefully, we should be able to pull these things right out. All right, so now that we have both port and starter old control heads out now we go ahead and start putting in the new control heads well today we we're able to put the new side mount controls in we got the new touchpad installed and uh, let me show you what we've done now that we got the new 22 and a half degree side mount controls in they sit a little bit different than the original ones did but we were able to manipulate the brackets so that it can clear these gauges. These gauges sit below here and it's gonna give us enough clearance on top of here to clear all of our gauges. All right, today's objective is to mount the new actuators. These are our new mounting plates. These have the same footprint as the old actuators, but on these particular actuators, they use the mounting plates. So we're gonna end up taking those mounting plates and installing them in the same location on the starboard side, and that will be the port. All right, this space here is pretty tight. So you only can do this with one person. So it makes things a little bit easier. Line up the studs. You hang it, grab your uh, lock washer, and there goes my nut. What do you mean by that? But I got plenty more nuts to go. I got one. You start one. Once you're able to get it tightened up, then the unit will actually stay by itself. Now you could actually finish the other three. And I have to go look for the nut that's on the floor. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. Yes, all you sexy boat lovers, this is how you do it. After we installed the actuators on the port side and on the starter side, along with our trolling actuator, we started to install our mechanical cables that go to the transmission and to the engine governor to our actuators. All right, so now we're on the mechanical cables. This comes from the main helm, which is a electric mechanical backup. These are the mechanical cables that go directly to the actuators in case the system fails. So we have two of these 33C cables that go to the port side, and then we have two of these 33 seat cables that go to the starboard side. So we have our four cables here and uh, we have to be very gentle and connecting them to these so that we could actually use these as poles to get to the engine room. All right, Julian's on the port side. Damn. We're gonna actually pull these cables through that side. They go all the way forward and then they come back and then they end up going down this way. So Julian already loosened up all these wires. When we're done, we're gonna end up putting everything back. So I'm gonna go ahead and help him feed it. I asked Knucklehead to go get my measuring tape. And this is what he comes up with. <laughs> Stop. But on your phone, it like you could use it, right? And it tells you right here, 
eight foot, 10 inches from that end to, this, to where you want. Then I could just measure and set my points. We had, we always had to do things the hard way and you guys come up and reinvent the damn wheel. All right, as you can see, we already started working on the harnesses already. We've already got our CAN bus, our power, and our enable circuit. We're gonna be connecting all of our wires there. I have ran everything nice and tight on the port side in loom. Real nice, you can see, up to the actuator. So we have our drip line there. So we're working on now the port side. And I have all my harnesses there coming up to there. So the next step is connecting the power, enabling the system, and programming. Well, Julian's decided to take a nap. So. He actually had to assist me so that we could put on those air boxes my balls hurt. on that side. We had to do that side, and we had to do that side. Getting in this boat is not easy. Since my dad doesn't work out as hard as I do, he's able to fit into these small little locations. And that right there is where we have that troll actuator that we're installing. So he's putting the cables in the loom. See? And Beautiful, nice and pretty. Look. Yeah, nice and pretty. Beautiful in the loom. So the wires are not exposed, that they get cut up or mislabeled by captains or boat owners. Also in the process of that, I um, I yeah. Uh, no you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Julian. All right, so one thing about installing the actuators is that the communication cables have like a key that fits right into the actual actuator. So you have to make sure that lines up in order for everything to go in. And especially inside this awkward area right here, it makes it pretty hard. My dad right now is putting everything back together. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna be talking about the actuators that we just installed. So these are smart actuator ones. In comparison to the last video that you guys probably saw about the 105 foot Westport, we use smart actuator twos on that video. And this one we're using smart actuator ones with backup. With backup. Well, as you can see, the gauge display is out. The owner is actually gonna do some work on this, so he asked me to leave this out. But you could actually see that we have the mechanical side mount control heads installed. And now the moment of truth, let's see if this puppy turns on. Perfect, everything, down to the last minute details. That is the good sound of a good installation. Just finished heat shrinking the communication cable for the control head up here at the very top. As you can see, it's really windy. But let's see if we get to control. Perfect. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Wait a minute, I'm the only one that can say we're done. Listen, we've completed this install on this 2002 45 foot combo express we have updated the blended antiquated control system to the new smart actuator one with that all right so that's it yeah that's it okay now you can say like and subscribe guys yes like and subscribe